Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer at Unidata, and welcome to another MetPy Monday. On this MetPy Monday, I want to talk about one of the most common questions that we get, whether it be at workshops, when we're at conferences, or when we're addressing support questions from our users. It's where do I start? How do I learn how to use MetPy or just Python in general? There's a huge ecosystem out here. There's so many packages and plugins, and I don't really know how to find what all the capabilities are. The first thing to do is to check out the documentation page for any project. So this is the page for MetPy, which is unidata.github.io slash MetPy. And that will be linked in the video description as well all of the pages I'm going to show you today. First off, you can see that we have a lot of information and a lot of resources on this page. Everything from installing to examples and tutorials. So the MetPy example gallery has examples grouped into a few general areas. For example, calculations, reading file formats, gridding, plotting, etc. As you hover over them, you see the output and a little description of exactly what each example does. So let's say that you want to make a station plot, and you see that there are a couple down here. So you click on one, and you see that there's a little bit of verbiage describing what we're going to do, and then a block of code. And we step through making this plot until you get the final result. Or as you can see down here, we improved it some, added some coloring to the numbers, so the temperature is in red, and dew point is in green. The really nice thing is after looking through this, you can download either the Python source file or the Jupyter Notebook for this example. So you can start with that as a base. If you wanted to make this map, but maybe with just some different data, you don't need to retype or copy and paste all of that code. You can just download it right here. Similarly, in the tutorials section, we're working on building a group of tutorials that are more verbose than the examples. These start out with a problem statement of, say you want to do X, and we describe all the steps taken to do that. So here we're going to make a basic sounding, and then we're gonna dress the sounding up, and finally, we'll add a hodograph to the sounding. Again, at the bottom of each page, you can download the source file or the Jupyter Notebook. But if you really need to dig in and know exactly what functions are available, the API docs are where you need to go. Here you can see each of the submodules of MetPy, so constants, units, IO, data model, calc, plots, color tables, and gridding. You can select any specific one of these, so let's say plots. We really want to know more about that station plot. And maybe the example is almost what we want to do, but not quite. So we can go down here to the station plot class, and this is the documentation for it. You can see exactly what the class is expecting. And then if you keep scrolling down, there are often additional resources. For example, plot symbol, which you might use, has all of the weather symbols that are available to you in the custom font that we have packaged with MetPy. So for detailed information, the API docs are really where you need to go. But maybe you want a more general example, something that's not MetPy specific. You need to know how to bring down some data with our package siphon and use it in MetPy. Well, then you need to go to the examples gallery. This is the Unidata Python gallery. If you look in the gallery, which will also have another gallery for MetPy Mondays very soon, you can see that we have some general examples on things like smoothing contours or making a hemispheric map. These may not use MetPy specifically, or they may use other packages and even get live data. For example, here, we're getting data from nomads. You could change this date time to be anything you wanted. Again, there's code example, and then you can download the Python or Python notebook file from the bottom. But let's say you really want some Python basics, maybe not specific to MetPy or Siphon. Unidata has put together an online Python training course. Here we cover the basics of Git and GitHub, Python, Jupyter Notebooks, and some of the fundamental concepts of the scientific Python stack. So for example, if you wanna know how to start and run a Jupyter Notebook, here's a page that describes the process and also has an animation showing how it happens. This is a great resource for your basic Python questions. Unidata also runs a number of Python training workshops. As you can see here on upcoming events, we have a workshop coming up in Madison, Wisconsin. All of the information for these workshops is online though. We also have some useful resources down here. For example, cheat sheets for Git or Conda, 
NumPy, some cross-reference if you're coming from MATLAB. There's a lot of good information and links in here that you should take a few minutes to go through and familiarize yourself with. The last resource I wanted to share with you is on the Unidata page itself. If you go to the News menu, there's a Unidata developer's blog. This is where you'll find things like the MetPy Monday post. But there's also a lot of other information in here from all of the projects that we're developing here at Unidata, and it's worth regularly checking or subscribing to it in your RSS reader. So hopefully with these resources, you can find the answer to any questions that you have. But if not, or if you don't see an example of something that you would like to know how to do, please get a hold of us. You can file a GitHub issue, you can talk to us in our Gitter chat room, or you can email support at unidata.ucar.edu. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next MetPy Monday.